Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ashley. I also go by Ashwar and Ashwar Plays over on TikTok. And I am finally doing a highly requested must have mods video for you guys. I'm going to be showcasing a few mods that I have in my game that makes my game feel a lot more realistic and detailed. And I'll definitely be making more mod related videos in the future. So please stay tuned for more videos similar to this one. Super okay, so the first mod I'm going to be showing you is the Ask, Cook, and Bake Grill mod by <laughs> Little Miss Sam. And we'll need another sim to come over. So Chastity has called over her good friend Romeo to help us show this mod. So they Romeo has came over dances. now, and now it's time to show you guys the mod. So what you'll need to do is click on a stove or a fridge, and you'll be looking for the Ask to Cook slash Bake option. You'll click on this, and there's a lot of options to choose from. And I think I'm going to have Romeo cook a grilled cheese for us and we'll be doing the dinner for two option. And this is also a mod made by Little Miss Sam. The mod is called more serving options and better mealtime menus. And it comes with more serving size choices for your sims to make meals. All right. And now he's going to be cooking that for us. And this mod is perfect for when you want to have a date night with an NPC sim and they'll be able to cook dinner for you. And yeah, now Chastity has Rolls a grilled cheese Java. sandwich that You've her friend Romeo has healthy, made her. Huh? Okay, so now it's time to show the second mod. And if you see Chastity, she's going to the bathroom to wash her dishes instead of going to the kitchen sink. And this can be prevented by the don't wash dishes where you angry poop mod. The mod was originally created by Scum Bumbo, but is yes. now being updated by LRDT and so what you're able to do is click on the bathroom sink and now there is an option to disable dishwashing you'll click on that and you'll click on the sink in the kitchen and make sure that the enable dishwashing option is turned on so now when Chastity washes dishes she'll only wash dishes in the kitchen sink instead of the bathroom sink Okay, so the next mod I'm going to show you is a personal favorite. It is the Photographic Memory Mod 2.0 by Ravishing. And what this mod allows you to do is transfer your photos that your sims take into Polaroids, calendars, canvases, cross stitches, paintings. There is a wide range of variety. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Chastity take a picture with Romeo so I can show you guys how the mod works. Sick of food? Oh, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take a few of these and I'll take this one as well. Okay, so in order to transfer the photo over, you'll need to get the Photo Studio Hub. So, what you'll need to do is type in RVSN and search, and you'll have three options to choose from you have the flash drive photo storage, floppy disk photo storage, as well as the old fashioned camera and I will pull these out for you guys to see them. So this is what they look like and you can use any of them to transfer photos. You'll click on the photo studio and you'll have three options to choose from. The first option is to create photo gifts and this will copy the photo into a canvas, calendar, famous print or a Polaroid. You can also have the option to improve the photo quality and then there's an option to transfer the photo to a different photo option such as a canvas to a cross stitch or vice versa. So what we're going to do is we're going to create the photo gifts option and we're going to create a Polaroid. And of course all the pictures did not come out well. Um, let's do this one. Okay, it costed Chastity 25 simoleons and now it is in her inventory. And now what she'll be able to do is drag it out of the inventory and put the Polaroid in her apartment like that. And I think this is so cute, especially for teen sims. Oh duh, I can literally just improve the photo quality of these. So I'll show this option as well. Um, as you can see, this one's blurry. I'm going to click on it and now the photo is no longer blurry, which I think is perfect. As I said before, this is one of my absolute favorite mods. I use it with all of my gameplays. I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do the personalized calendar and we're going to do it with this picture. 
Again, it was 25 simoleons. And I'm going to drag this into Chastity's apartment. And that's what it looks like. Okay, for the next mod, I have Chastity and Romeo at the karaoke bar. And uh, the reason why we're here is because I wanted you guys to see the townies that come to the bar. A lot of them are pre-made townies. Like we have Anaya Jane here, Lily Fang is leaving, and Akira Kibo is coming in. I also have a few townies that I've made myself in here. If you're watching my Mimi and Sam, my Shuno Let's Play, you know exactly who this is. But basically I have a mod that disallows the game to randomly generate NPCs into my game. And this is the No Random Townies mod by Zero. And it is a literal game changer. So now when you look around the city, there's only pre-made sims or sims that I've created. No random townies wearing crazy accessories and ugly outfits. Only sims that I've created or are pre-mades. Oh my gosh, it looks like Chastity has gained a sentiment with Romeo. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Throughout the conversation, Chastity got the impression that Romeo finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. Wait, what? Okay, so I guess this is the perfect time to lead into the next mod that I have in my game. And this is the Wonderful Whims mod. And this mod comes with a lot of features. The first feature is the attractiveness feature. And what this allows you to do is set your Sims attractive traits. It also allows NPCs to have attractive traits as well. And it turns out Romeo is attracted to chastity. You can set your sims attractive traits by clicking on your sim and then clicking on attractiveness and you have several options to choose from. You can choose Chastity's preferences, choose other sim preferences, develop other sims preferences, and then my personal favorite, develop Chastity's preferences. And so I'm going to click on this and this allows the mod to develop attractive traits for your sim. So I can click on this option here which says develop based on picked sims. And I can pick a sim that I want Chastity to be attracted to. I'm going to choose Thorn Bailey as an example. And so now what this allows the mod to do is any sims that have similar traits to Thorn Bailey, Chastity will now be attracted to. There's different modes to choose from. I'm going to choose the moderate strength. And now the game will develop attractive traits for Chastity. This mod also comes with a lot of other features such as STDs. Your sims can be able to transmit STDs to other sims through woohoo. There's also a menstrual cycle and birth control feature as well. I can probably do a video based off of Wonderful Wilms mod alone just because of how massive the mod is, but it is a little game changer. I refuse to play without it. It is absolutely my favorite mod to play with in the sims. And it looks like based off of the attractive traits that we've picked for Chastity, she perceives Romeo as extremely attractive, so there's that. Okay, so for the next mod, I have Romeo and Chastity at a restaurant for a romantic date. And as you can see, Chastity is very flirty because she finds Romeo extremely attractive. So I'm going to have them order for the table. All right, I got their food. And the reason why we're here at a restaurant is because one of my most asked questions over on TikTok, as well as in my Let's Play videos, is how do I have my sims remain seated at restaurants? And the mod that I have in my game is the Restaurant Sit Tweak mod by Bianchin Mods. And what this mod does, it keeps NPC sims seated while they're at the restaurant. Well, for the most part. But now you'll no longer have townies walking around, especially the sims that you're eating with. And yeah, it makes eating at restaurants a lot less chaotic. Oh my gosh, y'all, look how cute they are. This is so adorable. So yeah, it's not 100% perfect. You'll still see a few sims standing, but it's definitely a lot better than without the mod. Okay, you guys, so the final mod that I want to share today is the phone call overhaul mod by Lothario. And I got too impatient to wait for it to happen in game. So I'm just going to show you an overview of it on their website. And so what this mod does is it prevents NPC sims from calling your sim when your sim is sleeping on low energy or on low hygiene. Your sims will also no longer receive calls from ghosts or sims that are not their friends. But my favorite part of this mod is the delayed invitations add-on. 
And what this does is whenever an NPC sim invites your sim to an event, instead of having your sim drop everything in immediately traveling to the lot that the NPC sim invites them to, your sim will now be able to pick a time slot that they'll be available to go to said event. So we have here an example of Don Lothario asking Bella on a date. And so now Bella has four options to choose from. She can either go on a date tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, or just say no. I absolutely love this mod. It makes my game feel a lot more realistic because it allows my sim to plan accordingly for the event that they're getting invited to. Okay guys, so those are my eight must-have gameplay mods that I have in my game to make it feel much more realistic and detailed. As I said before, I will definitely be doing a lot more videos similar to this in the future, so please stay tuned. And of course, all the mods mentioned in this video will be linked down below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment. It would be very much appreciated. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.